Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with... Gods. Yes. How's it going, y'all? Brought to you by... <laughs> High Rise, <laughs> THC L- Seltzers, and uh, the Charleston Hymn Collective. Cheers. This is the band Gods. The name of the band reminds me of... I, I kind of got to think of like two gods maybe fighting or playing with one another in heat know? lightning throwing lightning bolts at each other so like, yeah or something arguing, like that having a conversation yeah the heat lightning lightning bolt the conversation like is Luz- that kind of like close actual like hades and zeus like just duking it out like the word gods has been brought up numerous times inadvertently you brought up gods earlier when you were talking about like this all the ancient apocalypse show stuff you talked about God, we talked about gods last night when we were watching the heat lightning it's weird yeah, um, basically, you're kind of right, but we just came up with the name basically because we want everyone to be gods, so we just wanted a cool name. Yeah, you're like your own <laughs> god, but it's like not sacrilege. Like, I'm a Christian, Teslin's a Christian. Um, it's just, I personally had nothing to do with the band name. I just came Yeah, Phil wasn't in the band actually when it happened. The band was initially called Royal Blood, and then there was a band in the UK that was called that, and then they changed it. Yeah. You know what's super interesting too is like, there's no words in your music. So we're kind of just like going off feels and vibes. Mm-hmm. And we got to know these guys a little bit, obviously, hanging out. And they're really super positive, happy dudes. You know, I, I feel your uh, the inspiration, like, once you get to know them. And it comes through there in the music. But also, I want to bring up that you guys are from Charleston, is what you had mentioned. They drove all the way down here. Born and played raised. a gig tonight at Hoochin' Hive. But we super appreciate you guys coming all the way down here. We were more than happy to make the drive. It's really not a big deal. Like, we've been meaning to come to Florida for the longest time, and we actually have friends here in Tampa and now new friends here in Tampa area. Yeah, seriously, thanks for having us. It's uh, worth every step of the way, yeah. And another unique thing, too, is you might be the only, like, full-time working musician we've ever had on the show. That's true. So, like, he he does DJ stuff. I think you guys were telling me about weddings, mm-hmm. and um, can you want to expand on that and just say what that's like? Like how how do you how that is earning a living with music? Yeah, so he was DJing for a wedding band already at the time, and he put me on, and basically we just been doing that because it's really good money, you know. But it helps us work like this band really because we have the funds to like make things happen, like travel and like buy merch. So. That's pretty much why we do the wedding stuff. Yeah, the segue was DJing. Uh, like, I started out in bands and stuff. Me and Deslin known each other since we were 15 years old, and we're, like, 35, 36 now. So <laughs> this is, like, a long time coming. We're, we're f- finally now able to put the, the pedal to the floor. But, yeah, basically, you know, in Charleston, Charleston's, like, a really wedding-heavy city. And so for us, it's like, hey, you're either with it or without it. Like, you want the money? You want the gigs, you want the experience, you want to be there for the, the most important day of these people's lives, like, then then so be it, boom. That's like a big part of the income that's been able to facilitate a full-time um, career in music along with exterior DJ gigs, producing at home, and the band stuff. So very, Absolutely. very, very, very grateful. When you DJ, you're mostly playing other people's music then obviously or when you mostly. play in the band you do you cover songs covers, and stuff yeah. like the wedding band yeah covers <laughs> all covers you know but you kind of got to like take that constructively being like what is it about these songs like you know i'm, I'm not going to just sit here and be like oh this sucks i'm playing somebody else's music it's like more like pay attention what are these chords that they're doing why is it successful what are the lyrics like it, i like to just take a di- a deeper dive into the music instead of like feeling like I'm just playing covers. But at the same time, it's like when we get to play our originals, it's an outlet, it's a breath of fresh air from those covers. So true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. me and Matt felt the same way. Like the music that we play is so much more fun if it's yeah, ours. Yeah, dude. I get it. Obviously, have more fun playing original stuff. But like I said, it weddings and other gigs help us provide the money to do this. So. So. We noticed you guys were playing with some backing tracks, which was cool. It sounded great. You guys, you know, had that integrated very, uh, in very well. But you mentioned earlier, Philip wasn't in the band when you got the name Gods. What's what's the history? How'd this all start, and how'd you <laughs> get to where you're at now? So, yeah, the project started off with me and uh, Chris Perot. He was my roommate at the time. We were just writing music. We had been playing music together for a while, but we never, like, had anything going on. But by the time we moved in with each other, we just you know, wanted to do it full time. So we had a bunch of songs 
and we actually got offered to play a show and we didn't have a bass player at the time so we asked Phil and he learned the songs really quick and we played our first show together like he was there for our first show wait so where was that again Royal American that was Royal yeah but we were a two piece in the beginning for about four months before we got Philip on yeah Okay. and by that time our first record was halfway written already the guitar playing is awesome, man. You tear it up, and I can tell that you guys have been playing music for a long time. Just you know, with the the um, backing tracks, the effects, and stuff, you guys are really tight playing together as a unit. It definitely helps because we've known each other since like yeah high school, so we just kind of like can read each other without even like thinking about it. If that makes sense, the chemistry is just there. Yeah, yeah. and you know he's got a good skill set too. Another reason we're so excited to have him down is. You also have a podcast as well, right? Yeah, I'm going to have you on. Yeah, on we're going to do Pursuit of Sound. We're going to have Pursuit some of Sound the podcast. Pursuit of Sound podcast. And we were just discussing, like, in a band, especially when you're working, you're not just practicing music. You're doing booking. You're doing research. You're talking to, you know, other venues. You're talking to other artists. So there's a lot of other work that goes into playing music. There's so much <laughs> more than just playing the instrument. <laughs> and in the performance. I call it the time. invisible work, the work that nobody really sees, but <laughs> that we don't really get credited for and it goes overlooked. Yeah, you got to be your own booking agent. You got to be your own promoter. You've got to be your own spokesperson and like try to your own businessman. Like all this stuff, it's like... It's crucial. It's... <laughs> more to shake a stick at than I can so, handle sometimes. So, so let's start then... Shouting out, I remember. So as his, he's got the podcast and the band. He also has a couple different sponsors. You've got High Rise, right? What what is this exactly? You so guys have a sponsorship. We just courtesy <laughs> yeah. Deslin. I work for this company called Charleston Hemp Collective. We sell cannabis products, and we are the founders of this product called High Rise. And basically, yeah, we are just trying to branch it out. So come to a show and check it out. Buy High Rise. High Rise delicious. is what. It's like a it's, it's a, a Delta a Nine like seltzer with CBD in it. So yeah, this one has got. If you don't want to drink milligrams. alcohol, it's, it's a good alternative. It really is. Yeah, uh, we're we're trying to get away with uh, seeing what we can do with selling it at the merch table. You know, everything from chocolates, vapes, carts, gummies, drinks, um, pre rolls. We'll see what happens. And if you're in Charleston, South Carolina. Now you know where to go. You know who to call. <laughs> yeah, you call do. Call the gods. Come go. see me, dude. <laughs> gods. So no the, and you'll talk to the gods. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now for the important part, for the people that like what you guys got going on, like your sound and your music, where's the best way for you know people to engage with you, see what's, go what's going on, and listen to your music? Um, really quick, first other sponsor that I want to shout out is uh, Zest Vodka. They sponsor my podcast. Shout out Zest. I see you. The best flavored vodka like I've ever had. And yeah, we can you can find us on all streaming platforms really. Spotify, Apple Music, um, YouTube. YouTube. Yep, of course we've got a website, www.godstheband.com that's got a bunch of merchandise, socks, shirts, hoodies, hats, um, beanies, uh, everything pretty much. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And um yeah, uh, also just to get a plug out the way, we got a new album dropping here on uh, November 28, 29. One of November the two, right? November 29th, show yeah. at the Royal American, yep, the, Charleston. Be there if you can. The album's called Alchemy. It's got 11 songs on it, yeah. a bonus track. Um, it's our second album, so Hell yeah. we're stoked yeah. on it. And it's honestly the first album he's written on guitar since forever. Yeah, so. but... Instagram as well, God's the Band. Check us out on Bandcamp. It's where you'll be able to buy our stuff and support us directly. Thanks, and thanks you so am much. I uh, am I missing any other plugs? No, nah, you're good. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. Facebook, I did miss Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check us out. Wait, it's wait, MySpace. <laughs> yeah, MySpace. <laughs> and then live shows. Go see a live show. Most importantly, support them. And if you're uh, getting married in the South Carolina and Charleston area, <laughs> you know, you also have a great wedding band that will rock your pants off yeah, yeah. check out philip's podcast yeah the pursuit of sound podcast thank you matt yeah, yeah how many seasons do you have um i'm on episode like 60 right now okay cool right. but yeah, we're you're, still you're, young and budding you're a bit ahead of us but uh, we appreciate you guys making the trip coming down from south carolina appreciate you. Awesome. thank you we appreciate we are the hospitality looking forward to playing with you guys tonight at hooch and hive and listening to more of your music uh you know so go out there support live music go check these guys out come check us out you know and then i'll uh, like and subscribe Thanks for watching. Smash that Thank like and you. subscribe, y'all. Uh, let's do it. Thank you.